Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Embellishments on the 11th collaboration hosted by Dub Hawks Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. Everyone that's participating will be in the description box. Please check them out, do a little bit of lurking, and if you're not subscribed to them already, if you like what they do, they line up with your crafty style, go ahead and drop them a subscription. We could all use the support. So last month for the All Summer Long collaboration, we um, the prompt was ice cream. And I think I even told you all last month, I kind of struggled with that a little bit because what I wanted to do, I did, I couldn't do. And so I got inspiration because I'm always struggling with the embellishments. I was like, I'm going to do ice cream in December. Why not? Right. <laughs> and so that is what I chose to do. I went onto my scanning cut and I just found some food. They have built in features. If you have a, any die cut has um, die cutting machine, electronic die cutting machine, they have programs that already have free SVG files that you can use. And this is built into the, the scanning cut itself. I have a 350, a CM350. I have an older one. So I have a scanning cut too. Um, and it's on there. And I thought I would make some ice cream. So in the pursuit of finding ice creams, I got lost, of course, because when you're in the store, and you see food and you may be hungry, you find different things. The first thing I found was donuts. <laughs> and I did not put them all together just because I want to show you a few things and just discuss some things. Um, so this is the donut and then this is the topping. I chose to use this little fun piece of paper. This paper comes from Michael's Hot Box for Halloween. Not Halloween. It's the Easter um, paper pad. I don't know the name of it. Um, but it has this and a few other little decorative things because this definitely looks like confetti, right? And so you just glue this down. Now, if you want to take your creations a little bit further, you can ink the edges, right? Or glaze the edges with some type of glaze. Or you can glaze this and give it some shine because, you know, donuts usually have shine that appeal to get you to where you want to buy them. So I, I left these blank or not glued together because I want to decide if I want to you know embellish the edges a little bit more to the embellishment or just leave them plain but for the ones I did do they look like this I did a few of them now when I cut this out I didn't I just went with the original size that the machine gave me and it's a probably too big um because you know this would only probably fit on a five by five uh, you know a two size card comfortably or a larger one so yeah you know you could put do not something you know any of those little quirky puns for donuts and you can use that and also the donut holes you can use as some candy or these can be easter eggs or ovals or you can put them in the background for something so you can use those little circles that cut out then i was like okay let's get serious we're doing ice cream <laughs> And I made ice creams. I used this color paper. I did not ink the edges on these as well. But I plan on doing that later on. That's why I try not to assemble all of my embellishments. Unless it's a specific thing. But I use this. And I use these sprinkles. These sprinkles actually were in the Hot Buy paper pad as well. For Easter. Easter usually has some of the prettier colors. When you're doing tra um, commercialization of Easter. And not the real reason we celebrate Easter. But it has like lots of fun pastels and things like that. And I thought that'd be really, really cool. Even though it's December, I've been eating ice cream. I've had ice cream a few times this month. And have I needed it? But this is how the snowman look. And you can actually turn this into like a little bookmark if you wanted to. You know, you can put our paper clip. You can put these together. And so this is how the back looks. You know, the back usually kind of looks ugly. And I actually messed up the cut. And I just used the other side because... If it didn't cut through, I can always use the other side. And I have a lot of these little don't, um, ice creams. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And since we are in December, and I really wanted to get around to doing that this project this year, but it will have to be 2021, I made some gingerbread. Guys, some gingerbread men. Um, and they are naked right now. They're just a shell of their former selves. But... On the back of these, or on the front, you know, if you want to get extra fancy, you could put the little uh, icing right here on their legs, which I don't really care for icing on my gingerbread when I bite into them. I just want to taste 
that delicious gingerbread flavor. But on the back, you could put a black strip of paper so you can have just that one, those three holes covered, and then you can put a little red bow, or if you want him to have a green bow or whatever color bow you want to have, you can do that. And then in the back, you can put a white sheet of paper if you like for eyes. So he would kind of look like this, if that's what you choose to do. Um, I don't know if I would choose to do that. And also you could take, you know, you can put all that in. You can hide the ugly. The ugly would be the, the workings of your creation and just put this back to back and you could have all of that glued down. The good thing about some of these pieces is that they are able to be turned over. They don't have different sizes for one front and one back. So that is what I have created for embellishments on the 11th. You all know that I struggle with embellishments so I do thank Deb for allowing me to be in the collaboration and I've enjoyed everything and we'll be back next year so look forward to seeing us on the 11th next year until next time happy crafting